Um, all right, for the next three minutes, you may think I'm odd because I'm talking about quesadillas, but considering that 6 billion quesadillas are consumed yearly, I think it's something important to talk about. I've worked in the kitchen for the last six years, and a large percentage of the things that come out, out of a golf course kitchen are quesadillas. So I guess you could kind of say I'm a connoisseur of quesadillas. Um, one of the most important things about to know about a quesadilla that it originated in Mexico. And uh, <laughs> during, the, during the new colonial age, a lot of people would argue that it's older colonial age considering uh, there, it was originated before, but it really wasn't uh, founded and didn't really grow until after it, uh, Mexico was founded and people started to colonize on, uh, in Mexico and in North America. The most popular places where you find uh, quesadillas as a popular entree or hors d'oeuvre is in places like Venezuela, definitely in Mexico, considering that's where it was founded, and in the southern part of the United States, considering a lot of uh, Mexicans had immigrated to the United States and opened their own shops and have started to uh, create their own quesadillas. Now, making a quesadilla is pretty simple. Um, you can really add whatever you want, cheese, uh, chicken, whatever it entails, but normally the trick is you put all of it on half of one, fold it over, put it on a skillet or whatever you're going to cook it on, and make sure it's cold and crisp on each side, which normally takes two to three minutes, depending on what you're cooking it on. Um, one of the unique things about quesadillas is it varies ingredients-wise. Up here you can see that there's rice, beans, chicken, but a lot more people are starting to migrate towards more healthy quesadillas, including goat cheese and a lot more vegetables like corn and tomatoes, but um, one of the most important parts of a quesadilla is what you have on the side of it. Um, the cliche is salsa and sour cream, but I prefer certain things like hot sauce and ranch dressing because I guess it's more considering what you like and what your taste buds prefer. Um, <clears throat> but generally when you buy quesadillas or you make your own, it's popular to use salsa and sour cream. Now uh, there's there are a lot of ways you can cook a quesadilla, but there's three main ones. There's the cast iron skill, which is more of a homestead way to cook it. Uh, there's the flat iron skill, which you see a lot more when you see like when you see people cooking in kitchens. But for poor college students like myself, I like to use the quesadilla maker, considering it's very quick, handy, and you really it doesn't take up that much space. Now a lot of people don't know this, but there's a difference between a Mexican quesadilla and a U.S. quesadilla. Mexican quesadillas actually are two pieces of corn tortillas that are eaten whole and not normally cut up. Um, they don't use as many um, meats like chicken and carnitas. They, they shift more towards the vegetables and fruits and vegetables. But uh, the United States uh, quesadilla is generally half a half quesadilla that's cut into four pieces. And like they do at Chipotle or other Mexican restaurants, they include carnitas, chicken, steak. Uh, and normally, they generally have more of sides of salsa and sour cream on like the Mexican style quesadillas. Um, I hope you're aligned about the quesadillas. <laughs>